Hey everybody, Abe here from CMF HQ in Decatur, Georgia for this week's video blog. A few weeks ago we were lucky enough to hang out as part of the Atlanta Film Festival and get a couple interviews on the red carpet with some of the creators of the movies that premiered during the festival. So this video you're going to check out an interview with Debs Gardner Patterson, the director of Africa United, which was the closing film of the festival, as well as Mario Van Peoples, uh, director, actor extraordinaire. Enjoy. I think the opportunity having a show is to capture people, to catch them with a moment. You can't necessarily take them on a huge journey, but you can, if you can totally engage people with one, you know, one moment, one kind of slice of time, um, which can be totally dramatic and totally narrative and totally all the rest of it. Um, but it, that's the challenge, and the shorts that have really stood out to me have been the ones that have done that really, really well. Well, I think one of the things that you know you know as a as a filmmaker is that you're not just working with lighting or cameras, but you're working with people, and so it's, at some point it comes down to your people skills, your ability to get that best performance from you know Chris Rock in New Jack City or Fifty and 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 things fall apart. To be able to say, well, what is, what is it about this person, and how can we get to where we need to go? So the, I think the biggest challenge is, of course, the emotional stuff, because of course we also shoot film out of sequence, so. You're doing the scene in the middle that really would play at the end, and the scene at the end that would play at the beginning. And so you've got to really sort of chart where you are, not only physic in the physical dynamic, but where you are emotionally in relationship to all the other characters. And that's what makes it pay off. As a filmmaker, I don't really know. Sometimes I'll set up the scene, but I don't know always know what I'm going to do as an actor. Like, I don't know right now what question you're going to ask me. And that's what keeps it fresh, because good acting is not just acting, it's of course reacting. I think, you know, I think my advice is this. It's twofold. As a filmmaker, keep in mind that it's called show business, not show art. So having some understanding of business and getting things done, having the chutzpah and the drive and the people skills to get in there and make it happen, for sure that's a big part of it. But the second part to it is, I always say there are three loves in your life. One, you know, be in the business of what you love, do what you love. Two, try to work with people you enjoy, work with people you love. And three, very important, say something you love. Now with the, you know with technology, anyone can make a movie like before. Now anyone can write a book and anyone can make a record. But that doesn't mean everyone's going to be a great singer, or a great writer, or a great filmmaker. So I think I think a big part of it is having something to say. You know, don't, we, we tend to get on the mic and have nothing to say. So don't just you know really think about it and think about we're we're in a very crazy time in the world. We have a lot of things happening and a limited amount of time to get it together. And filmmakers have a big, big megaphone. So say something with a little nutritional value and some heart and pass the mic to somebody else. Hey everybody, Abe here from CMF HQ in Decatur, Georgia for this week's video blog.